What's up guys, it's Mark Lumi and in this episode, I will introduce you to 13 basic keyboard shortcuts you should know as an AutoCAD user. So let's get started. Actually, I was known to be the best AutoCAD user in an interview that I went to because I have some secrets. Secret? No, not actually a secret, but I understand some basic basic shortcuts in AutoCAD so in this episode I will introduce you to this basic AutoCAD users now this is what we're gonna be using as our tutorial so I have this here guys what this so the first keyboard shortcut is just a letter letter L on our keyboard which allows us to draw a line so let's click our starting point and move the keyboard up down front up back and if you have a specific distance let's say three meter with is 200 mm so let's just input that then press spacebar then press escape so this is the line and you can just make another line l and we just start to draw select your starting point select another point so that is it the second keyboard shortcut that I have here is a construction line where is XL on the keyboard shortcuts X and L then press spacebar then just press anywhere on the keyboard so this is the line going like this and like this just move the mouse down and move the mouse to the right hand side to get this line so the next one that I have here is trim so let's say we have two let's say we have one a and I really want to clean this so the only thing I have to do to trim that is to select this line and press TR on the keyboard and spacebar so then I can select this other line and escape to opt out of that command the next keyboard shortcut that I will do with you is erase which is E but what we have to do is to select a line and E and space bar so that is it that is how to make use of that line the next one is offset offset is just like trying to make a copy of a line or any shape to another specific point so let's say I want to offset this that means I want to move this to the front having another line that looks like this in another space so let's press O enter then let's say I want to offset by 500 then spacebar then I'm going to move the cross here to the front and click anywhere so this is the line that I'm offset so the next one is a polyline with a PL polyline is just like a line but the difference between a line and a polyline is when you select a polyline you select the whole line but when you select a line you select just one of the lines so let's see polyline this is a polyline so if I select this I select all but if I have a line like that and if I select this I'm not selecting everything but if I select just a single of this I select everything that is the difference between a polyline and a line so let's go for escape escape is the ESC um, button on the keyboard to opt out of a command let's say we are trimming before let's say we are trimming before and we just want to opt out of the trim command so we press escape so let's just say we, are, we draw a line and we want to escape from this line command we just have to press escape the next one is copy we we'll select the line press C on the keyboard and press enter select a point from the line you want to copy then move it to the line then press C O on the keyboard then select the line you want to copy and move it to the point you want to move it to so any point so the next one that I will show us is the arch which is H on the keyboard shortcut just press H and spacebar so it brings out the arch and gradient I don't know brings out this it pops up this thing so the next one is extend so let's say we want to let's say we 
one should we use? Okay, let's say we offset this hole for the shortcut 300. And we want to make this line to get here. So the only thing we have to do is to select where we want it to go and press EX on the keyboard, then space bar. Then we can now select the line we want to extend. So if you want to opt out of this extend command, you have to press escape. So that is it. So what again? Circle the C is for circle and then select a point you can see then the only thing you have to do is to input the radius let's say we want to make a circle of 11.5 then space bar so this is the circle that means the diameter of this circle is 2 to 5 because we are making the radius that means the half of this to be 112.5 so the next one that we will be doing is extend polyline copy speech bar is the mirror the mirror so let's say we want to mirror this circle to another side so just select the circle press mi space bar then select the line we want to mirror the side then click that side drag your mouse up or down then click it again then space bar so that is it hope you guys enjoy this video that i make introducing you to some basic shortcuts that makes me the best AutoCAD user so i want you to practice and watch and learn and i want you to subscribe to my channel and if you really want to ask me some questions you can make use of the comment section below and click the thumbs up button turns it blue yeah just click it and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching this content i know you really love it just subscribe and keep watching because i'm gonna drop another tutorial on autocad thank you